Good morning, everybody. Happy day 15 of the challenge. You are officially at the halfway mark. You did not come this far to only come this far. You got this. You're halfway there. Please let me know down in the comment section below how you guys are doing, what revelations that you've had about yourself over the last basically two weeks, and what you're looking forward to in the upcoming 15 days. But as of today, it is November 15th. That's the good thing about November with a 30 day challenge is that there are 30 days in November. So it makes it easy for us to mark the days. So once again, you're, ha you're at your halfway mark. You didn't come this far to only come this far. Um, after the 10 bit day mark, you started making your bed up every morning if you didn't already. Um, and your last meal should be, be between 5 and 7 p.m. This allows your digestive system at least 12 hours of rest between dinner and breakfast. You're doing the 45-minute bar again today, which is the first exercise you did on your very first day. So I did this intentionally. I want to know if you notice doing it today are you stronger? Do you have more endurance? How has it changed over the last two weeks? How has your body adapted and your mind adapted and changed over these last two weeks? You have your five minute cold shower and all meditation. And today is this very special day because Tuesday is actually Hanuman's day. Um, it is the day of war. And so it's also the day of Mars. And it's funny in India, my teacher won't do it do anything that has to do with like a razor or a knife on Tuesday. So he doesn't shave on Tuesdays, right? Because he's, it's very um, auspicious or inauspicious to actually use what would be considered a weapon on a day of Mars or a day of Hanuman, who is the warrior uh, monkey God in the Hindu uh, mythology. So I say here in Hindu tradition, Tuesday is Hanuman's day. Below is the video from esoteric Atlanta, whereby he speaks of Hanuman and his representation, representation of courage. Please watch this video because you will have some questions in your journal entry today to reflect on your own courage. So here's the link. I've, I've talked about this story a lot with the Ramayana and what Hanuman actually represents as he's going up against Ravana, who is the um, ten-headed demon who can't be slain. And basically, this whole story is just basically about how much guts it takes to actually walk the spiritual path. Not once in the history of mankind has spiritual spirituality been easy. It's not supposed to be easy because we only grow when there's friction. And so you're going to re-listen to that. Answer all your questions today. Uh, you're at the halfway mark. How are you feeling? What has surprised you the most about this experience? What have you learned about yourself? What has shocked you the most about your experience? What is motivation? What is discipline? What is the difference between the two? We spoke about that at the very beginning. And as you guys know, motivation, motivation is nothing. We need discipline because that's what you're, well, once the honeymoon phase is over, that's when the real practice begins, right? All right. And so you're going to go to reread all your journal entries up to this point. What has changed? How have you changed to look through people in the eyes and smile at them? Same old nighttime routine. Now, tomorrow, the 16th day, Wednesday, halfway point. You didn't come this far to only come this part, uh, this far. Make your bed up. Your last meal should be between 5 and 7 p.m. You're going to either do the 45-minute bar again or the half primary series of Ashtanga Yoga with Ashtanga Nurse. And you're going to do the all meditation once again. Now, tomorrow is going to be a big day. A big day of working through deeper childhood traumas. So there's no better way to start looking at your own childhood traumas than the story of Quan Yin from the Sophia Code. It's a 60-minute video. I have the link here. I want you to watch that again or lay down and listen to that again. You're going to have your food journal. Tomorrow's journaling, the topic of childhood trauma is a heavy one. If you feel you need professional guidance, please find a trauma therapist in your area. This exercise is only meant to explore certain wounds that need healing. Have you ever thought about your childhood trauma? Can you think of one experience in particular that has shaped you as an adult? What do you need to do to try to heal the little boy or little girl in you? Can you forgive the adult who hurt you? Have these childhood traumas been projected by you as an adult? In what areas did you project your childhood wounds onto others? Can you forgive yourself for this? What is the greatest lesson from the reading of the Sophia Code with Quan Yin? Now, at some point tomorrow, Preferably after you've exercised, after you've done your journaling, your meditation, I want you to sit in a quiet room by yourself. I want you to close your eyes and start to follow your breath. Like Kuan Yin said, I want you to see yourself as that little boy or a little girl being hugged and loved on by Kuan Yin. 
Can you feel her loving arms around you, healing all your wounds? When you were a child, you were innocent. Can you allow the healing powers to move through you? Can you allow yourself permission to believe that you deserve to be healed? Can you allow yourself permission to believe that you deserve to be loved? Can you give yourself permission to believe that you deserve to be here on the earth right now? If it helps, you can replay the Kuan Yin activation while doing this activity. This activity can be repeated as many times as need be. After you complete this exercise, what was your experience? Please write as much as you can. Just as you wrote a letter to a person you admired a few days ago, today you need to write a letter to yourself, but not your adult self, your inner child. Write a letter to the little boy or little girl you once were. Tell that child how much you love him or her. Tell that child how special he or she is and how much the world is going to need him or her when he or she grows up. Tell that little boy or little girl that any trauma or hurt that happened to him or her was not his or her fault. Remember, the child you once were, that child is a fractal of God, created by the Most High, and there is nothing that child can do to, to separate himself or herself from the love of God. You can either write this letter to yourself in your journal to reread daily, or you can fold this letter up and mail it to yourself. Look three people eyes and smile at them. So yeah, tomorrow, guys, do what you can today, looking at Hanuman and looking at that courage of Hanuman, because tomorrow, the 16th, is going to be another big day, another big activity. All right? And it takes a lot of courage to go through childhood trauma. It takes a lot of courage to look these wounds in the face, these wounds that become attached to our ego, that shape our ego, which, again, is the false sense of self. If we play in the ego, we'll never reach our spiritual enlightenment. And so you are all very brave to do this. It's going to be hard, uh, but hopefully through the hard work, there is liberation. And once again, if you do feel like you need professional help, please reach out to a healer or a therapist, whichever you feel is best for you, if it gets overwhelming. All right, you guys, I would love to hear again down in the comment section below if you care to share what you've learned about yourself, what's something that surprised you about this challenge, all that good stuff. A little bit later today, I'm going to be filming with Emmy. That that episode will probably air either later this afternoon or tomorrow where we're going to go deeper into Reiki and yoga because our yoga course, the intensive is starting this Sunday. We still have one seat left, one seat left for all the people who are already registered. You will be receiving your manual and your first week's homework and some other stuff, links to the Zoom, all that kind of stuff at the end of the week, probably on Saturday is when you'll receive all of that. So be looking out for that on Saturday for all that information to be mailed to you so we can be ready for class on Sunday. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon.